What is up everybody? This week we find ourselves in a bit of a different location. We are in Viti Levu on Fiji's biggest island. So before we start this week's video, I want to just share something that I've learned this week with you guys. So my reading today was in 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and it goes something like this. Now regarding the one who started all of this, the person in question who caused all this pain, I want you to know that I am not the one injured in this as much as, with a few exceptions, all of you. So I don't want to come down too hard. What the majority of you agreed to as punishment is punishment enough. Now is the time to forgive this man and help him back to his feet. If all you do is pour on the guilt, you could very well drown him in it. My counsel now is to pour on the love. So Paul is actually talking about a gentleman we believe who he referred to in 1 Corinthians who was doing some pretty bad things and his instruction in 1 Corinthians was to confront the man and now in 2 Corinthians he is saying now that you have confronted now your job is to not only forgive but to actually comfort him. So confront, forgive and comfort. I think a lot of us are willing to forgive but what Paul is asking us to do is to actually take that a step further and actually comfort. I just want to read a quote to you guys that goes along with this Bible verse. If discipline is largely lacking in the church of today, so also is the grace of forgiving and comforting those who, having done wrong, are truly repentant. How often, alas, souls have been indeed swallowed up with overmuch sorrow because of the harshness and suspicion of Christian people toward them in view of some wrong which they have done. And this is what I love. Love never slights holiness but holiness never slays love. They can go hand in hand. Loving God and living according to his commands, for me, goes hand in hand with loving people. And although I don't necessarily agree with everything that goes on in the world, it doesn't change the fact that I'm to pile on the love. Just always pile on the love. So sometimes you need to confront people, then you need to forgive them. And that is something that I am personally gonna be going through at the moment. There are some things that are being done that are hurtful to me, but it's going to be my job to not only forgive these people, but to actually help them back up and go along our way together. Not just forgiveness, but actually comfort and helping people back up. Thanks so much for watching. On with the video. So this isn't necessarily the place that you expect to find yourself on a Tuesday evening, but my grandma was, yeah, she wasn't feeling very good and she actually made us all dinner. We had gone to Lombas for the day and then she made us dinner. And then she actually fainted and luckily Stephanie was standing right behind her and she was able to, you know, pick her up from, or hold her from behind. And so we brought her to the hospital and her blood pressure was like 181 over 108. So it was severely high. We waited here for a while, she took some meds, and then we got sent home. And then after about an hour at home, one side of her body froze up and she couldn't really see that well and she was kind of slurring her words, kind of like stroke symptoms. So obviously we were concerned and so we had to bring her back to the health center here in Sanganga. And so she's currently in there right now. And yeah, it's getting kind of late, but um, yeah, life is so precious, and it's moments like these that really help you appreciate the moments that you have with each other and the time. So don't take it for granted, and let's see what happens. Hi, we're John and Steph, and these are our sons, Eliki and Sevenaya. Our family lived and still runs a small business in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. Our family has a dream, so we sold our stuff and packed our bags. We moved to a village in Fiji to start a new business venture. We are Waka Family. So update the next morning. Uh, grandma um, got taken out of the hospital by my uncle, who's her son, and she's now at his house. So um, she's recovering there. She'll probably be there for a few days and yeah, hopefully she gets better and they're gonna go to the doctor a couple times just to monitor her health. Anyways, this morning uh, we just dropped Leaky off at school and we got some fencing because as you can see this little preschool that he goes to has no fence around it and there's a road right behind us over here. So we thought, hey, um, hey we'd like to do something for the school. We actually really like the teacher here 
and Leaky comes home really happy every day and he's always learning something new so we thought hey we'll buy them some fencing because that's something that the teacher said she really wanted around her little schoolhouse so um, the village boys here are going to be going to get some posts up in the forest and then we'll put this chain link fence up so exciting to see and we're thankful for what happens in this little house here. So as per usual, every time we borrow a vehicle, we have to drop it off. So that's what we've done. I took the boys to relieve Steph because last night was a long night with Grandma in the clinic. So she's going to have a rest and I just dropped off the truck to my uncle and now we got to walk home. I think he's over there with his newfound friend. And Steph is up here, chilling. You chilling? A few kilometers to walk home. And then before we get home, we have to cross the river. We'll jump in the river and have a swim, cool off, and then it's bedtime for these guys. Another day in the life of home. Home. Yeah, home. 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 Nice. As per usual on our way home, We've just got lots and lots of guava trees around here. So we must pick guavas as we see them. So both the boys have got guavas now. How is it? Good? Good. How's yours? Nice? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Good. Filled up and ready to go down this long stretch of road that we got in front of us. And somebody's struggling. Hey, do you want to come up with my shoulders again? Yeah? Come here. <laughs> 